So in this video, I want to show you some stretches in a, in a program to help you open up the outer thigh and the glutes. So oftentimes those are big problem areas where we're very, very, very tight. And um, I'm going to show you a few things that will help you with that. So let's actually begin in a downward facing dog, hands down, feet to the floor. Good. And lift the right leg in the sky. And let's come right into a half pigeon. So bring your right knee to your right wrist, left hand, left foot to your left hand. Now stay up on your fingertips to start and find a lift of your chest. Good. So you want to work on bringing your left hip forward so it's square. Now if this hurts your knees at all, what you want to do is bring your right shin back so it's at a more of an angle. For more of a stretch, you bring your right foot more parallel, your right shin more parallel with the top of the mat. And let's hang out here. So come on to the forearms, if this feels okay. Square the hips. And just breathing here into the hips. So what we're doing right now is stretching your right glutes in your right hip. So if we stay here, let's take a moment and breathe, relax. Good, and drop your right hip to the floor and swing your left leg on top of your right. I'll go ahead and face you. So your right shin is on the floor parallel to the front. Your left foot is on your right knee. So it's ankle over knee, knee over ankle. It's directly stacking on top. And for myself and a lot of us, the left knee is going to come up. So just allow your left arm to rest on your left knee. And just allow the pressure of your left arm and the gravity to help press your left knee down. So in any of these poses, you don't want to force, you just want to allow uh, the pressure and the gravity to help bring your knee down. So you will feel this along the outsides of your hips for sure. And even into your, um, your, outer, your outer hips and glutes. And honestly, if you have the time, you can stay in this pose for a long time. Uh, five, ten minutes each side would be awesome. Good. So we were facing the front. Now we're going to move into the half pigeon on the other side. So this time, the leg that's on top is going to come to the front, and the bottom leg, being the right leg, will sweep right back. And again, square the hips. If you bring the top shin more parallel to the front of the mat, you'll have more of a stretch in your glutes and in your hip. And if it feels good, just come on to your elbows, relax. And I would stay here for a really, really great deep stretch, a good 10 count breath. So long breathing, I'll give you an example. Good. So anytime we're holding a posture, you want your exhales to help you relax down to the floor. So again, let's come on to the left hip. We're going to swing the right leg on top, coming into a double pigeon on this side. I'll face you just so you can see. So now it's left shin on the floor parallel to the front, right ankle on top of left knee, right knee on top of your left ankle. And just hanging out here, allow, again, rest your right arm on your right knee. Now for some people, if you have like, if you have very tight hips, this may be really uncomfortable. Your right knee may be up to your face, you know, so wherever you are is fine. You just want to begin to breathe, relax the hips. And if you can, rest the right arm on the left knee to help guide it down. And again, staying here for 10 long deep breaths would be ideal. So we'll hang out here for a moment if you're following along. Taking a breath in, and out, let's just do one more breath, and out, 
Good. And let's come to the front, just undo the legs, kind of extend the legs, shake out the knees and hips, and release some of that blood. Give a little pat of the thighs. Bring some life back into those legs. And let's go ahead and stand up. And that'll be it. So really quick, really short sequence to help you with the hips. So if you're someone watching this and you have chronically tight hips and you need to start releasing the hips, this is a phenomenal video. Also, my video about releasing the inner thighs will also help because, you know, it's all, it's all connected. So you help, you help the inner thighs get loose, you help the front of the hips, you help the glutes. It's all going to work together to help you have more, have more, you know, mobility and openness in the hips, which is what you really want. So have a great day. I'll see you soon.